Hi everyone, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel, Feel By Me here on YouTube. And you can follow me on my social media on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook with the same name, Feel By Me. You can also join me on my uh, Facebook group, and that is Feel By Me group. And um, in there, I have uh, plenty of uh, live tutorials, and as well as giveaway and um, uh, challenges. So yeah, go hop over in the group, and then uh, you can also follow me on my website, that is flarebyme.net, and my blog flarebyme.net slash blog. So today I would like to share with you guys uh, the needle book key that is available in my Etsy uh, store. And through these kits, you actually create this uh, beautiful needle book. And, and let me show you really quick what you're going to receive in this kit. So first of all, you're going to receive this uh, pattern paper uh, from... Uh, this is Fintas pattern paper you, you can see in there. Okay, you're gonna get uh, some pattern paper. Because it's uh, still sewing themes, and then to create your book, I also include this felt material. And the reason I use felt because it's so easy to stick your stick pin or needles in there. Okay, in here. So, yeah, you get plenty. I think you get like thirty-seven. It's like over a yard um, long, and it's actually eight inches wide. Okay, and the color is ivory color and you're gonna get this beautiful uh, white rose bouquet with a uh, rhinestone in there and there is a vintage leaves as well and I wrap it in a pink ribbon and then after this you get this uh, handmade flower um, in the middle I use this uh, vintage flat back bro and you're gonna get this flower applique and I actually hand paint it myself for a uh, chiffon flower and this one is 1.5 inch two of this um, flower with two of the one with the rhinestone it's three of these uh, flower flowers pink flowers with uh, pearl on top these two my favorite appliques in pink color one of these beautiful butterfly in pink as well and two of these uh, flower applique two of these satin flowers in white and one more um, applique that I hand painted plenty of dollies in here so you get this one okay and then here's the dollies for you to create your handmade flowers or handmade uh, dolly flower this one is white off white two of these you can actually put them together i like to put this together so it looks like flower look at that three-dimensional flower plenty of them okay one two three four you get six seven seven of them okay in different colors of course so you get plenty to play with and then you get this beautiful lace and i dyed it using avocado skin it's beautiful it's like really light pink you can see in there and then after that you're gonna get this beautiful lace in every color and they're really soft And then you get this white tangle trim gorgeous gorgeous and i use it all of this trim i use it in my project and i will show you in a little bit okay and then you get this one two yards of this i like to use this one and i actually use this one as a binding on my needle book you're gonna get a half yard of this beautiful uh, vintage lace in like every color this one is vintage lace as well in white okay and you get this one okay plenty of it here <laughs> i put it wrong there you go it's gorgeous and then you also get this one beautiful it's look more like between pink and champagne color 
it's beautiful look at that and then this one i hand dyed it using tea beautiful uh, trim you get half yard of that it's beautiful lace finesse lace okay and here's another one and then you get this beautiful lace big lace let me see this one is like about almost six inches okay i use this one to cover my needle book the page of my needle book and you get this uh, material from uh, vintage table clothes it's beautiful you will get plenty of this material as well get that to add to your uh, needle book or fabric journal whatever you decided to create with this kit and then um here is the vintage uh, applique and this one is heavily beaded and heavily sequins and you can see in there this is vintage applique and i actually use it as the cover of my uh my uh what is that needlebook and then you get the other one in a grapes uh, design and you get one of these canvas flower you're gonna get four of these vintage um image images and they are print on a fabric material okay you get that one this one they're pretty big okay let me see the size it's like a two almost two and a half and then like three and a half more than that then here is the cute little thing since it's a needle book kit so i put four uh, stick pins for you to create your own stick pins okay so two with um rhinestone and two with the pearl and then you get this uh, vintage button, beaded vintage button. Here's a clear rhinestone button. And then here's wooden button in a, a sewing notion. So here's the sewing machine. Here's the um, the <laughs> all the stuff for uh, sewing. This is the ruler. Um, you get two of these. Uh, beautiful vintage button you get two of that okay and then pink beads and there's a butterfly beads um you get a mother of pro um button as well i think i throw four of them in there and here is vintage button glass vintage button um what else a vintage beads butterfly beads here a flat back uh Vintage flat back pro. Okay, and then you get two of these uh, sewing charm. I mean, a uh, <laughs> sewing machine charm. Okay, you get two of that, and you get two of the um, scissor one. Okay, and then one of these cute uh, ball charm. And then, yeah, there's uh, plenty of bits for you to create your own uh, stick pins. Okay, so that is the kit. And I'm going to show you really quick my uh, needle book that I created using uh, the kit. So most of the items in here that I add into my book are from the kits. And then in here, I use the charm. Okay, and then I use the lace, the small laces uh to use as the binding and here is the uh, applique and to bind it to tie it together i use my seam binding and i hand dye it it's not included in the kit guys so this one is not and then let me open it for you and then here is the little bucket i just stuck it in there 
and on the back i don't really do a lot of stuff i just cover the back side with the uh, beautiful big uh, white lace okay and then here is the flower applique and after this i'm going to show you uh the tutorial i'm going to upload the video tutorial so uh stay tuned for that so you can create uh exactly the same if you like this one you can create exactly the same you can just copy whatever i do uh, i did in here and i don't mind at all or you can create your own okay so yeah so in here i put the dollies and the pink flower here's i put the picture the uh, flower applique and the flat back pro from my stash and the lace okay so here is the stick pin from my stash look at i put the applique in here okay and all the laces since this is a needle book, um, this is all the needle I put in here. This one is from my friend, the stick pin. This one is my handmade stick pin long time ago. And yeah, so you can see in there everything. Uh, most of the material I use in here, I use uh, the one from the kit. And even the, the one to cover the page okay and this one is all the uh, handmade stick pin i use the bits from the um, kids as well as some of the the um, jewelry items for my stash okay here is the handmade flower and then i just add the leaf uh, stick pin in there from my stash and here is the place where i put this um little tag and I actually gonna put my uh, thread in there I don't want to use the the wooden one because it's going to make it bulky so I just use the the um, paper paper tag to uh, to put my thread and this is the middle of the book here you go I put more and here more of my um, my needle and I create pocket in here so like this one I can just tack it in there okay here's more tag for me to put my thread and everything is from the kit okay and in this page I just put my uh, safety pin because I use them a lot and then um, here's the picture this one is stick pin from my uh, friend and then here's my handmade flower this is all the uh, wooden buttons I just put that in there I just put them in there and the butterfly um, the dollies in there and with the flat back pro here I put the picture in there yeah so over here um, I'm gonna put something for sure <laughs> and here is where I put my scissor to cut my my thread okay just a little tiny scissor so I won't forget it because I always lose my needle as well as my scissor and then here is the um, dollies and then I just put my uh, stick pin in there okay and there are more uh, flower in there yeah so that is the stick pin, I mean the needle book that I created for <laughs> for myself because I keep losing my needle and my scissor. So yeah, I hope you like it and stay tuned for the tutorial. Thank you everybody for watching and like I said, stay tuned for the tutorial, needle book tutorial. And uh, if you like this video, please thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. So you get up to date of my videos, tutorials, as well as giveaway. So uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.